Hello friends, welcome back to Momentum Stocks. In this video, we are going to discuss about Nifty, Bank Nifty and we are going to talk about one buy stock and one sell stock for tomorrow's trading session that's going to be on 27th of May 2024, Monday friends. Okay, before we proceed, let me tell you in the previous video, in this particular video, we discussed about m and m okay m and m we saw it was at this level 20 second okay we saw a breakout followed by retest okay i also showed you a pattern head and shoulder pattern it went down did not touch the head it kicked out all the people who had their stop losses at the right shoulder okay and then gave a breakout a retest this was a perfect entry followed by upward momentum we discussed about this top that can be met it went further above the talk if i am looking at at the money call option which also we discussed in the same video it went from this 40 rupees to almost 120 rupees three times friends so anyone who invested 1 lakh it became 3 lakhs here so that kind of momentum was given we also discussed that this will make the top that's when the call option will at least make 90 rupees at the top it went much above 90 went almost till 120 and came back anyways we discussed about Dr. Reddy's we showed you this particular Fibo, okay. This Fibo was drawn. We also showed a left shoulder, a head, and a right shoulder. Here, what happened is the first candle itself started here above the right shoulder. So, this 38.2 entry was no longer valid, anyways. But if someone entered here and all, they would have their stop losses set. But one more important thing did it even touch the next levels? The answer is no. It continued to come down from here itself. So, net net, I would say that MM gave good profit no entry triggered in dr eddies but then if you consider it that way it was a sl hit coming to nifty bank nifty nifty bank nifty i told you we are bullish on it see entire day it was sideways okay then the next day 23rd 24th is what it continued to move upwards bank nifty we clearly discussed that it was somewhere here okay there was a breakdown that was shown to you like this this breakdown was shown to you friends okay and i'll draw it for you this breakdown was shown okay and then it continued to go down what we also mentioned is from the bottom to top if i'm drawing a fibo it can go and touch the 61.8 levels we talked about this level which is 47600 levels it was discussed clearly in this particular video go and watch the video you'll know that i also told that you can capture momentum downwards and momentum upwards that's exactly what happened very good returns came in bank nifty upside friends okay so if you have still not watched that video go watch the video you will see how exactly we predicted these things and just to tell you the fact these predictions are purely based on the technical momentums that we are seeing in nifty bank nifty and also the stocks friends talking about nifty nifty has already made a lifetime high now we are not looking we are no longer bearish we are still positive on the market but are we going to enter at the top the answer is not no we will wait for some kind of retracement only at retracements is what we will go ahead and create buy positions there can be a small fall here and there that's when we are going to enter we will not try to capture the fall we will try to capture the upward momentum only someone who wants to capture falls it is not the right time for you you should be capturing upward momentum wait for a retracement upward momentum when it is coming again you should be capturing this momentum not the small momentum friends that's what i would like to make uh, that's what i would like to tell you at this point of time now if i am drawing a fibo from recent bottom to top here what do we see it is hovering at 23.6 also has not come so very good place to buy would be this area that is 22880 levels at this level we also see a previous support okay it hovered here for some time and then continued its journey upwards something similar can happen it can come here take this support again and continue going up in that case we will have a small stop loss and big target that's what we would be wanting we would not be wanting a unlimited stop loss upwards and a small target downwards that's not what we would be wanting keep that in mind similar thing bank nifty if i'm drawing a fibo from recent bottom which is here okay to the top okay what do we see we see it is not even retraced the 23.6 levels it is at the top almost but in the bank nifty there is one thing friends the top is here 
okay so good possibility that once we break this area okay we can create buy positions for upward targets but then it is best thing to do would be wait for retracement at 50 percent level i see a nice little support zone i'll just draw that for you see this stops is like a support zone i'll draw it clearly so that it will make more sense to you guys see from here if i'm drawing this this is your 50 percent level at this level when market came down like this okay it took its support like this and finally broke it after breaking it took rejection from here make made a double top and fell down straight till here okay again when it came here it took rejection 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 and finally with good strength it broke it so if it comes here this level which was acting like a resistance till here will become support this is a simple principle of support and resistance that i am talking here i am not talking anything very difficult so if it comes till here very good possibility that it will again continue its momentum upwards and go to the top will it really come till here we will see otherwise we will not want to capture the downward momentum we would be waiting for a dip for a buy side entry only when will we start capturing downward momentum for that we will go ahead and draw this line like this this trend line okay once this trend line is broken by any chance okay if it breaks this trend line that very much means that this support is broken it also means that this bottom to top when i'm drawing fibo the 61.8 levels which is the trend changing level that is also broken that's when we would go ahead and quickly look for this target this target and this target until then we would still remain positive on the market friends coming to the buy and sell stock we are considering coal india as a buy stock why you can see that it is continuously in uptrend that's your first reason reason number two if i am drawing a fibo from recent bottom to the top this is your recent bottom this is your top okay you will see that it has taken its rejection at 38.2 levels like this and continued to go up again a second top was formed reason number three if i am drawing a trend line like this okay see this trend line if i am drawing it like this you have seen that it has taken its rejection here now it has broken it again taken support and continued to go up it has come down till here again continued to go up good possibility that it will continue to go upwards this particular level that we have drawn here friends the 23.6 levels that's where also it has taken support multiple times and then broke it now after breaking this upwards it has not come to retest here so the best place to buy would be at this area okay 500 and 498 499 levels that's where you can buy first target will be the top and it can continue going upwards only friends talking about negativity negativity we see bearishness in indescent bank now you will say this is also an uptrend but if i'm zooming back a little that's when you'll see that it is in downtrend it is the first time that it came till here now if i'm drawing a fibo from recent top to recent bottom okay it has taken its rejection at 38.2 levels and you have seen very strong downward candles coming here okay again it retraced again here there was a good downward candle so again at 38.2 levels is what we are seeing a downward momentum can we enter here we can enter here itself because there is a break down like this okay a steep trend line breakdown and it has sustained a few candles have closed below this trend line in order to be safe or to wait for a double top pattern like this one has to wait for this trend line to break like this friends okay this is the trend line which you'll have to wait for breaking but then i would suggest you can draw this particular trend line like this okay once this is broken we can quickly create short positions for first target being the year second target here third target here and final target will be this bottom friends that's how we would be trading in indescent bank i hope you did like the video if you did hit the like button likes are not coming friends likes will encourage me to create more content like this that would be helping you for your future trades thanks for watching and wish you a profitable day tomorrow